Alright, so today I'm replacing the clutch master cylinder on my 1991 Nissan 300ZX. I've started out by putting a rag under here for whenever I disconnect this clutch line so it doesn't just start pouring clutch fluid all over the, uh, the engine bay. I mean, some will still get there, but you just have to try to prevent. I also want, it may be a little bit smaller, because um, there's a little bit of slop in it, but I'm using a 10 millimeter line wrench. There is quite a bit of slop there. I'm probably going to go find another wrench and just hope that it doesn't round it. Because that tin feels like there's a lot of slop in there. Um, then you also need that pick that I just dropped down there um, to get the clip that holds the pin into the push rod for the master cylinder. And then there's two 12 millimeter nuts holding it. So. It seems like a pretty easy operation so far. All right, so first, if I can get my arm in here, I'm going to try to start out by taking this pin out right here. And you can see there's just a little clip right there that holds it in. I'm using a 90 degree pick because it's actually all I could find. Um, but 90 degrees should work. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, then you just want to get that pin out of there pull the, or you want to get the clip out of the pin, pull the pin out, and then you should be good to go on the inside. So as you can see, I have the clip out, I have the pin out, so the only thing holding the master cylinder in right now are the two bolts and the line on the other side of the firewall. Alright, so now I'm going to loosen these bolts just to get them out of the way. Now, I'm using a half inch right now. As I could not find a 12. I'm almost sure there are 12, but I could not find a 12. So I'm using a half inch right now. And uh, not something I'd recommend, but you don't want to take them all the way out because you still have this line, the clutch line connected to the master cylinder. And it will not want to, to move um, with the master cylinder just flopping around. So you want to. Um, actually take that out of there first. So now I'm going to use a 10 millimeter line wrench to get this off here if it will go on there. It's one thing annoying about line wrenches. They don't always want to fit on there. Let's see if I can get it from a different angle. Okay, we're on. So, now we're loosening. Again, you want to get your rag kind of where this is going to be pouring out. Because you don't really want it all over your paint. Because it will eat your paint away. Over time. It's not going to happen instantly. But if it gets on there, you just want to get it off with some water or something. Once you get the uh, line of nuts off there, you just grab it and just pulls right out. Another thing you want to do is um, when you have it out you want to set the other one the old one side by side with it and you want to have the bases the flat surfaces equal to each other and you want to look at these holes that the pin's going to go through and make sure they're about the same distance because that will save you time with adjustment. So now I have this bench bled. Uh, if you want to know how to do that I have another video. It's the uh, Civic master cylinder replacement and this is pretty much how you do it you just get a hose in here that'll decently seal in there if you have a fitting that goes in there even better but you put that in there you put the hose in here and you want to make sure it stays submerged in the brake fluid and then just keep pumping it until there's very little air inside the line and uh, before you there shouldn't be any leaks but you just want to be sure before you go back in you might want to just put the plug that came with the master cylinder back in the hole so no more air gets back inside there or as little air as possible does and then you just put this back in here and continue on with reassembly and as you can see I'm going back together but there's a little bit of trouble getting it in all the way oh wait there it went I was going to say what I might have to end up doing anyway is um, going back inside the car and guiding the uh, push rod onto the pedal because it's probably off right now so I'm going to go back inside the car and make sure the push rod is where it should be around the pedal. I guess before I do that I should go ahead and just put a nut 
on this stud to keep it from falling completely off. So as you can see, the push rod right here is off. It's on the other side of the pedal. So what I need to do is undo that nut and come back in here and guide it through because else it won't want to go on there. As you can see, I got it where it needs to be around the pedal. Um, I didn't actually do that by setting it in here and then guiding it through here because that was such a struggle. Uh, I just got on the other side of the firewall and I just kept on stabbing it through, stabbing it through until eventually I got it around there. Um, takes a little bit, but that seems to be the easiest way. Now right now, as you can see, I actually have the pin through, but I don't have the clip in the pin. I know that getting the clip in there is going to be easiest with the pedal down, and I don't want to suck up any any fluid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on the other side of the firewall, and I'm going to reconnect the clutch line, and probably also put a nut or so in so it doesn't just push the master cylinder out. But uh, I'm going to uh, put that line on there so I can depress the clutch pedal without sucking in a bunch of air. All right, now I actually have everything reattached on the other side. I have the clutch line. I have all the bolts toy. Tight, tighten down, not tighten down, tighten down so I can press that in. You can easily see the hole that the clip's going to go into. So, with the pedal down and everything else tight, this thing going to be too bad. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that clip in. So, now as you can see, the clip is in there. So, that's about it for just replacing the master cylinder. It's pretty easy. Uh, the next thing I'm going to make a video about is bleeding, and that should be a bit more difficult. So, Thanks for watching and uh, leave a like.